Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 7th grade concept of circumference and area of circles. This is standard 7.9b in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 2 off the 2018 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we have this strange looking uh, observatory here. It's shaped like a cylinder uh, on what, standing on one of its bases with a dome on top, which we don't do anything with this dome. So I'm not sure why they would take the time to kind of give us this visual here. Um, so what we're looking for here is the diameter of the floor is right here. And we've got the diameter as 64 feet. So we need to find uh, the measurement that's closest to the circumference of the base of the, so we need to find this circumference right here. All right, so let me just take this circle out. So out of all of this, we're just needing to find the circumference. So let me just see if I can take that and just kind of move it out into something that's a little bit easier for us to see. All right, so we've got our diameter. Remember the diameter is the measurement is the imaginary line that goes through the center from one side to the other of a circle. It has to go through the center. So if I were to, to draw a line like this, that is not the diameter. Let's put some X's right there. So they give this to us as 64 feet. And that's the diameter. And one way that I always remember uh, which line is the diameter, because we're dealing with several lines and circles, is this prefix die. Um, and so it's related to the prefix by, and so we know like a bicycle has two wheels, right? And so uh, if we have a diameter, it also means two. Both of these prefixes mean two. And so this diameter actually cuts our circle into two equal pieces, because basically the diameter just makes two halves. And so that's how I remember that the diameter cuts the circle in half. It goes from side to side through the center. So we are looking for this circumference right here. And so the circumference has a very, very simple equation for us. So the circumference is pi times the diameter. And so we know what... Uh, this diameter is. They gave it to us at 64 feet. So all we need to do is figure out what this pi is. Now pi is kind of an interesting number because it is actually a ratio. So let's look at pi for just a moment. It is the ratio of any single circle. And it's the circumference over the diameter. We're using the same measurements again. So you could take this particular circle that we just drew. You could take the circumference, which we're about to find. So the circumference is the outside, right? Circumference. Think of moving this F over to the R and writing the word fence. So the fence goes around the outside of a, a yard or property, and the circumference is kind of like the perimeter. It goes around the outside. But you could also take a very tiny circle like this, find the circumference, and divide it by the diameter. Or you can take a much larger circle that's like this. Find the circumference divided by the diameter. Guess what? Every single circle in existence, if you take the circumference and divide it by the diameter, it's going to be this ratio of about 3.14. That's the cool thing about it. It doesn't matter the size. It's always the same ratio of about 3.14. You see I've got my approximate little wiggly equation equal sign here because it's an actually a rational number that goes on and on and on and on and on it never stops so we need this 3.14 times the circumference of 64 all right that's pretty easy so it's just basic multiplication here 3.14 times 64 so that's 16 that's 5 that's 12 that's 24 that's 8 and that's 18 just add them up, 6, 9, that's 10, that's another 10, 200.96, the answer is F.